Hobnins Haunts is back this week with a ghost hunt in downtown Bakersfield. This time we went to the Junior League house on 19th Street. The house used to be a mortuary, so its history is a little spooky. Check it out. We are back for week three of Hobnins Haunts. We are joined once again with the wonderful local ghost hunter, Missy Bennett. Today we are at the Junior League house. Could you tell us a little bit about the history of this house? This used to be an old mortuary that was run by father and son and um, existed like that for many years. The family did live here for a little while and then it really was vacant for a, a really long time until uh, the Junior League of Bakersfield bought the home. Okay, so we are gonna go into the elevator. I decided to bring my geophone this time, and the geophone does a lot of things. So it actually measures vibration and um, temperature. So you can see the digital display shows us that it's 77 plus degrees down here right now. Are you in here? Are you pulling heat from the room? So you can build up the energy. I've never seen that happen before, where the temperature drops like that so quickly. So that's interesting. Well, up here, we are going to use the REM pod. So you can see when I get close, it's going to make the REM pod go off. Let's head into the other, the little conference room, former dining room area. But I'm going to leave this on in here. <laughs> okay. Do you want us to go? Okay, we're going. <laughs> what? Do you like the energy in this room? Did you just walk in? Okay, we're leaving. Really? It was interesting that it was just so silent until I was like, okay, we're gonna get up and move, and then the REM pod you know, goes off. All of a sudden, right now, I literally got a chill like up my back, but um, it was just the whole night that something was just beyond your peripheral. Well, thank you so much for taking us on this ghost hunt. I think it might've been our most eventful one. Yeah, for so sure, far. for sure. One more coming next weekend is Halloween, so stay tuned for one more segment of this year's Hobbins Haunts.